guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for coming back. So today I have put together a little gift guide um, video. So obviously Christmas is very, very fast approaching, which is actually kind of scary. I don't know where this year has gone, um, but I thought it'd be a good idea just to pop together a little list of things that's always on my Christmas list, but also the kind of go-to things that I get friends um, and family. So I'm gonna do a gift guide for her, which could be for your mum, your nan, your best friends, your sister, all the amazing females in your life. Um, I, I'm not gonna do one for males because I am terrible at buying guys presents like absolutely terrible I find it the hardest thing but when it comes to girls I just get them things that I like <laughs> I have quite a few things on my list to talk to you about some of the things I have so I've grabbed them and I can kind of show you the bits and bobs other things I will just talk about and leave um, them down in the description bar so the first thing on my list is jewelry I feel like jewelry is very much a fail safe as long as you get pieces that are a little bit classic or things that are not too like trendy I think everyone will love it as you guys probably know by now Miss Soma is my absolute go-to for jewelry I adore every single thing they do and currently they're 25% off site-wide sale is live. It's actually the only time they do the 25% off sale. So if you're looking to get someone a present, now is the perfect time. Um, so I'll actually show you what I'm wearing. So I have these beautiful little earrings on. Um, I showed these over on Instagram the other day. So they are thicker at the front, if you can see, and then they come into this kind of thinner little point at the back. And I just think they're really, really cute. I then always, always have my little claw cuff in. Um, this comes in two different sizes. I have both sizes, but I feel like the thicker one is a lot more kind of statement as the thinner one is a little bit more kind of reserved but both of them are absolutely beautiful and I love them so much because you don't actually have to commit to a piercing you can just kind of hook them on get the look and then take them off again and you don't actually have to go through piercings and healings and ugh. Um, so yeah they have really really gorgeous earrings and cuffs I also have two beautiful little necklaces on first is this little thinner one with this beautiful little kind of colored pendant I think it's so so beautiful and then I've paired that with this lovely little chain I've had this chain for ages um, and I love stacking it with something that's a little bit thinner I think also to get a set of necklaces would be really gorgeous or like a necklace and a pair of earrings I kind of make it into a little gift set vibe um, I'm also wearing one of their bangles here at the minute which I love and so these bangles I always love to just hook over my jumpers I think they look really really gorgeous and the next thing I think that would be a really good present um, is they do a whole selection of like pendants and chains so you basically can go on and choose your pendant I have a few here this one is um, a necklace obviously and then this side is slightly different to this side which I think looks really really cool and you can then choose your pendants so I think if you've got one chain and maybe two or three pendants or two pendants and um, you're giving someone one piece of jewelry but it would make two different looks so the way I love to use these is I wear for example I would wear this for the day with the little padlock on it and if I want to just quickly switch up my jewelry for the evening I can stick on a different pendant and it will completely change the look of my neck so I think that's such a cute idea I have this beautiful new pendant in as well this is my newest piece from a Soma it's this gorgeous little kind of snake pendant so you can just kind of clip that onto either a bracelet or a necklace and it's gonna switch up your jewelry. The pendants are a lovely thing as well if you're getting it for a sister or a mum or um, a girlfriend even. I think they're really, really sweet because you can then kind of use them as like, if something happens in their life, so something good, say the end of exams or if they got a promotion or if you moved house, like all the kind of monumental things that happen in life, you can then add a pendant on and then when they look back at all their pendants, they'll be like, oh, that was from that time and that was from that time. So I think they're really cute. It's just an example of one of the bracelet chains. So again, you've got lots of different designs, but this is the one I like. So each link is quite thick and it's just quite a statement piece. So again, with this one, you can just hook on any of the pendants and mix it up. Or of course you can just wear them plain. They look gorgeous on their own as well. And I just have some earrings and one more necklace. So this necklace is gorgeous. This is also new. This is a chain necklace here. However, this one is quite a lot more dainty than the other chains I have. And I think it's a really, really beautiful piece. I also think you can then stack up things like this. This one is absolutely beautiful on its own as well, but I've just popped on the little snake pendant that I showed you. And I think that looks really, really nice. It's really kind of statement. It's very cool. It's very unique as well. And um, yeah, I just absolutely love that section of the website. And of course, some of my favorite earrings. I have so many hoops from Asoma, but I've pulled the ones I think that you guys will like the most and the ones that I like the most. Basically, all of their hoops as well come in different sizes. You can still get the look of the chunky earring and the design without it having to be too chunky. These styles, I'm pretty sure, come in the small, the medium, and the large. Both of the ones I'm going to show you are the medium, which is my favorite. Um, size to wear. These are these gorgeous little hoops like this. 
They're kind of, I don't know, they always kind of remind me of like tribal style, which I think is gorgeous. I tend to wear these a lot more in the summer rather than the winter. I think pairing these with like a linen shirt and gold stacked necklaces and then like this kind of bangle really looks amazing. So they're some of my favorites. Then these are also one of my go-tos. These are funnily enough more of a winter pair. I didn't quite realize that. Yeah, I wear these ones a lot more in winter. So this is what they look like. So so beautiful and I love these because they kind of they're kind of like vintage style. I don't know, they kind of remind me, they've always reminded me of something you would find like in your mum's jewellery box when she was a kid. I just think they're really, really beautiful. So that is all of my top picks to show you, but there are so much choice over on the website. And as I say, remember they have 25% off the whole website, which is the only time they do this per year. So it's a really, really good time to start buying some Christmas presents, or if you're very organized, some Valentine's presents or birthday presents. Also another really nice point to note is um, for the third year running now, Miss Oma have partnered with Tree Sisters and for every order placed throughout Black Friday, they will plant a tree to offset their carbon emission which I think is just a really lovely thing to know so I'll leave all the ones I talked about down below and all the ones I'm wearing like my earrings and my necklaces but I'll also link a few more of my favorites which I think would be really gorgeous gifts for friends and family so that is jewelry covered um, next I'm going to go on to hair I think a hair tool is always a very very good present for someone I have a few of my favorites here for something a little more affordable this is the one I use every single day all the time I love it so so much I've done my hair with it today it just gives a really nice like natural loose kind of wave it is from Babyliss I can't remember the name of it but it will be down below and it retails for 40 pounds and I think it's just amazing I've got so many of my friends and family onto using this and I think it's just a very very good present for someone going a little bit more higher end is the GHD curve wand I always forget the names of these barrels this was probably one of the first curlers I ever really got into and I absolutely love it. It gives a very, very similar kind of style to what I have now. But if you can see here, the barrel um, kind of comes a little bit thinner at the bottom and also it's kind of, it's not a round shape, it's kind of like a squashed rectangle. <laughs> I feel like it does give you a very slightly more um, curly style, but it kind of gives you like that kind of wave make any sense but this is a very very good present to get somebody and tried and tested and it is amazing final thing on the hair front is the Dyson air wrap this comes in this beautiful leather case I'm pretty sure you can get it without all the attachments so it'd be a little bit cheaper and I don't know if it will come in the case but um the one I have comes in this big case and inside it looks like this and then you obviously have the air wrap down the bottom, all the different attachments. This is such a good hair tool, honestly. I feel like it changed the game of curls and drying your hair. I think the Dyson air wrap would be particularly good for someone who is a little bit more into their hair health or trying to get their hair to a healthier place because obviously it does the drying process and the styling process at the same time. Whereas obviously with other curlers, you would dry your hair and then style it. The Dyson air wrap like blow dries your hair dry while styling it at the same time so it kind of cuts in half the amount of heat you have to use. Okay, next I'm going on to like homeware, loungewear, pajamas. This is my favorite category. I feel like I'm very well clued up in it. Um, I've got a few things to pull. So the first would be a nice set of silky pajamas. First pair I have here are from the Napco. Um, you guys might have heard me talk about them. I definitely talk about them a lot in my vlogs. They do the most beautiful silk products. So they have silk pillowcases, they have silk eye masks, they have silk scrunchies, they have beautiful cotton pajamas, like really, really gorgeous soft cotton pajamas. They are amazing. And then they also have these little silky sets of pajamas as well. So these are actually not silk, they are polyester, which means they're a lot more affordable than a silk pajama. But I promise you, these are so, so lovely. They don't feel like that static, cheap polyester. They, I mean, I literally thought they were silk when I first got a pair, so I highly recommend these. You can then go up a little bit in terms of price and go to the White Company. They have amazing silk pajamas as well, and they are 100% silk. They also have really gorgeous cotton pajamas, and they have like cashmere robes. They have cashmere lounge sets. I have a cashmere lounge set. Um, that's pink from there and then this year for Christmas I've asked for the beige one and um, they also have cashmere socks actually I have them let me get them so I've been getting these every single year for the last like five years probably without fail just a little um pair of cashmere bed socks but they are the softest most snuggly things ever so they're always a good shout if I don't know what to get someone I will always get them a pair of nice pajamas a uh, little candle and then probably like this and then give them that as a little present and it's very very sweet I have already just said robes but there's quite a few different categories in robes so you can get a nice big white fluffy one again white company is my favorite or John Lewis do really nice ones 
You can also get nice silky robes. Um, I tend to wear them more when I'm like doing my makeup in the morning. So there's really gorgeous pure silk ones on um, like Selfridges and Harrods and that kind of place. But I also have really sweet ones from H&M and they're like longer robes. They look exactly the same as a silk, but they're just a lot more affordable. And then finally, as I said, the cashmere robes are gorgeous. I don't actually own one, but they're definitely on my wish list. They point you in the direction of White Company if you're getting that. Moving on, another category I always love to receive and love to give is candles. I really truly feel like you cannot have too many candles in a home. I've just grabbed three off the shelf up there. Going a little bit more expensive is Fornacetti. It's one of my absolute favorite homeware brands. They do amazing candles and little coasters and dishes and just really kind of funky things. I know this is not everybody's taste. So this is one that I have in the office and then on this side, she looks like this. So they are quite expensive. However, I do think it's a gorgeous present for someone. They're very much a luxury candle and um, I'm always very happy to receive one. I've just realized I got this for my birthday. I've never actually burned it, that's terrible. <laughs> um, but yeah, along those lines, it is an expensive candle, so I don't like to burn them daily. But I do think they're a beautiful accessory for a home. Another beautiful brand, of course, is Panhaligans. I've got some perfume to show you from there in a minute. They do some absolutely stunning candles. I have this black one here. I think it's also just a very, very pretty candle to own. And then I also have some of the mini white ones dotted in my bathrooms. Such a classic brand and very kind of English and just a really lovely present to receive. Of course, the perfumes are amazing and I promise you the candles are just as good. Then going into something a little bit more affordable, we have White Company. I have so many White Company candles everywhere in this house. I love them so much. This one is called Coast. I love the branding of it. It's just very simple. It smells beautiful, but they also have amazing diffusers. They have um, gift sets as well. It's called the Home Scenting Set. So you get a candle, a diffuser, and a room spray. I always love giving them to people. And of course, because it is coming into winter, they have their big like luxury Dulux candles and um, they kind of have like pines in them. I'll put them down below, but I've just ordered one for the house um, for Christmas. And then also places like H&M and Zara have amazing candles. I have a huge big diffuser downstairs from Zara with a matching candle and it smells amazing. So yeah, candles are a very, very easy one. I feel like everybody loves them and there also is so much selection and lots of different price points. So down below, I will link all of my favorites and I will give you some different price points as well. So sticking to the scenting topic, um, I've chosen some perfume. Perfume is always a fail safe as well. Um, I've just chosen a few here. So the first I have is from Penhaligans. First of all, I think receiving a Penhaligans perfume is just a lovely experience in itself. The bottles are always so, so, so beautiful. This one is Cairo and they also come packaged into a really gorgeous kind of like wooden box and just the whole thing, I promise you. It's a very, very lovely experience. So again, I will link some of my favorite Penhaligans down below. I have this one, I just picked it because it is my absolute favorite. It's from Louis Vuitton. It's called Nove. Not gonna try it. This is what it looks like. Um, this is very, very expensive, but it is a beautiful scent and they have gorgeous scents as well. And um, I think a very, very lovely and indulgent present for someone. Then we have something a little bit more affordable. This is Gucci Bloom. It comes in two different scents. I have them both, but um, I love them both the same. This is about 50 pounds, I think. So again, a really, really lovely um, luxe perfume, but just a little bit more affordable than the other two I have shown. Okay, so another kind of random one I would say is um, flowers. So Johnny got me a present. I think it was for my birthday last year. It was a flower subscription service. It was for a year and um, every two weeks I got a set of fresh blooms. It's just such a thoughtful and lovely present. It's obviously a present that isn't just for that moment. It lasts for a long time. You don't have to do a year subscription. I think you can do like a month or you can do six months or you can just do a one off. So Freddy's was the only subscription for flowers I've ever had. So it's the only one I can go off of. Inside each week it came with a little booklet about your blooms. So you kind of got to learn a little bit more about each flower and also so how to prepare them and put them nicely. How would you call that? How would you say that? Like style them into a vase, which was super handy. And I feel like I definitely learned a lot from that one. So that was a really good choice. Okay, so then moving on is books. I love receiving books. There's a few different categories. You can have like a coffee table book, which is very aesthetic and, uh, I mean, I don't read coffee table books, but I have them everywhere for styling purposes. So I have quite a few, can you see? Yeah, I think you can. I have three on this table, which I can link down below. Um, honestly, the way I get coffee table books for myself is I Pinterest them and I look at what ones look nice together and then I buy them as a set. 
So these are um, two that I saw on Pinterest and then one that I already had. I also have this big one, which I think is just a classic. It's very heavy. Um, this big Tom Ford book. This looks so cool, sat on a shelf with that on the side. So yeah, if somebody is maybe moving house or is in the process of redecorating or just really enjoys homeware, I think coffee table books are a lovely gift. So I don't ever tend to get people books that are fiction because I don't know what people like. Like I'm very particular over the fiction books I read. I always tend to get somebody a self-help book or a motivation book or a book that's like self-development. So the three I have sitting here right now, one is called The Life-Changing Magic of Not Giving a Bleep. <laughs> Um, this was great. I love this. It's very well used. The thing is with self-help books as well as you can read them and then I always refer back to them when I feel like I need to reread them. I always keep them and I always make sure I'm going back and relearning what I learned. The next one is Good Vibes, Good Life by Vex King. This book, I tell you now, was game changing. It was one of the best books I have ever, ever read. If the person you're getting a book for is maybe a little bit skeptical about a self-help book, this is the one you should get them. He kind of talks about methods in a very relatable way and it doesn't, it doesn't feel too much. It feels very easy to get your head around. Obviously the secret, I don't actually know where that one is. Um, but The Secret by Rhonda Brines, I think it is, is amazing. It's all about law of attraction. And then I have this little one here which is more kind of like a fun one. It's just like the five minute journal. Every morning you just kind of spend five minutes filling it in and um, it's just a really nice one, I think, to give to somebody. It's so only a few more things, I promise. Um, shoes, I think shoes is a really good category. I think you can kind of get the price point that works for you. So I have, I'm literally looking at them right now, a really gorgeous pair of trainers from Isabel Morant, which I think would be a lovely present for someone. Also looking at a pair of Gucci loafers, which I think are always a fail safe, a classic shoe. I feel like everybody likes them. Um, obviously they're a little bit more expensive, but if you're looking to treat somebody, then I think that's a lovely present. Then you can get trainers like Vajas, which are a lot more affordable, but very, very cool. And I feel like everybody is wearing them at the minute. But even things like a nice pair of leather Chelsea boots. Um, again, I'm looking at pair right now, which I think would be a lovely present. They're from churches, they're real leather, they're, they're very lovely and luxury and um, yeah I always think shoes is a good option for people. Next is the option of like hats, scarves, gloves. Um, obviously winter is winter and it's very very cold in this country um, but I think they're always a really lovely gift to give someone so you can go higher and get cashmere, um, maybe like a cashmere hat or a cashmere scarf which is a lovely gift to receive and give. And you can also find some amazing pieces on the high street so I have quite a few beanies from H&M which I love. I have some really nice cozy scarves from like and other stories and Topshop. And then just recently I picked myself up uh, Acne Studio scarf, which was really, really nice. It's very big, it's very cozy. I think it was about the 300 pound mark. So again, quite a luxury one, but I think people would really love to receive that. Okay, and then the final thing is a planner. So this is the planner I use. It's from Carrie & Co. I think I've had, this is my third one. So I've been using them since 2018. They are just such good planners. First of all, I mean, they're very aesthetic. Um, this one's obviously pink, but they do it in a light gray as well. This just sits on my desk and let me show you somewhere I have not filled in. So the way this works is each month it has like tasks to complete that month. You then get like a time blocking section which I find really handy and keeps me on top of things. And at the end of each month you kind of have this like assessment page which I love. So it says what's your biggest achievement of the month? Is there anything you wanted to achieve and you didn't and why? And then there's some stats so it's talking about like revenue and um, social media stats and things like that. So I think this is a wonderful gift for someone. It goes back to the point of Christmas for me is so close to the new year that I feel like I'm always trying to, like, I'm always like raring to go for the next year. So I feel like this kind of thing is really nice to give somebody. Maybe if you got someone this kind of planner and then one of the self-help books, I think would be lovely. Okay, so that was all of my gifts. I really hope you guys found that interesting. I feel like this is what I give everybody every year who's a female in my life. It's just lots of kind of homey bits, cozy bits, beauty bits. But I thought this was just a nice little list um, that most girls hopefully would really, really enjoy. So I will leave everything linked down below. Do remember that Misoma have 25% off every single thing on their website. So definitely go and check that out before stock runs out because I've got a feeling it will go very, very quickly. Um, and yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to give me a thumbs up and hit subscribe and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.